You know? Because scaring people is really good. Man, they are like chugging beer. My wife knows all about that. Oh, wait. There's more back here. Look. Let's clean it up. How many cases of beer did they bring out here? Like, how many how many beer cans are in a case? 12? 9? 6? Let's just say they had that big they had that big one at the camp. So, like, let's just say there was, like, 12. How many cases would they have to bring? I don't, I don't even know. I wasn't keeping count of how many I picked up. Supply drop that way. Let's go check it out. There's a supply drop over here. Thoroughfare lookout. 4.7 miles that way. Do you see anything from yours? Like, you know, the clues as to where they could be? Ah, <laughs> clues. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just doing my job. I like it. I, I do. I just, I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your, our, mind, minds, collective. But no, no clues. I, I can't see anything from here. There's nothing in here. Wait, hang on. Maybe I can go see Delilah. Cause look, her, 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 her lookout tower is just over yonder. Aw, what? Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I got, I, got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> a tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. <laughs> Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're going to need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. <laughs> okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Dang it. Man. I really want to go see Delilah. Delilah seems interested in me. All right, back to finding these young chickalicks, these teenagers, these young drunk teenagers. Oh, look, there's rope over here. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. <laughs> what? What? That's how you guys get. That's how you guys uh, uh get stuff that's hanging from that. Oh, I just took a picture of myself. Well, with some high I quality am rope. With ropes now, that pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this. This uh pack came with one of those cardboard single use cameras. With pictures left. Yeah, he only used three or four. See to use disposable camera. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Ex lover, lookout ranger. Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Oh gosh. I couldn't handle your charm. Didn't, did you keep in touch? Why? Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Nice. I can take pictures now. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? <sighs> I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. What the heck is this? That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. 
So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. What the heck? It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Yeah. Huh. That's weird. What do you think they're keeping in? What do they not want to have get out of there? Oh, geez, so many things. Should I just stop you now? <laughs> Maybe loads of hedgehogs. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Of, of the global hedgehog population. Uh huh. <laughs> the New Zealand government is, is up in arms. Where are all the hedgehogs? Well, folks are hiding them all in Wyoming. That's where they are. Who would do that and why? <laughs> that is the real mystery. Really glad I kept you in the loop. Thanks for all of the high quality information. High quality information. Okay, okay. I'll ask what's up if I talk to someone in the next few days who I think might know. That's funny. Okay. Very nice, very nice. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Flapjack. Want me to go back? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? You like that? Yeah, yeah I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's solid. I'll have to keep that one in my pocket. It's all yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, look at this. This looks beautiful over here. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Wow. That was a good pick. Pick that pick. Oh, look, I can take another picture from right here. Oh, the music just started kicking in too. Oh, look, I can go right or left. Which way do I want to go? There we go. What does she have? Oh. She's got Alzheimer's, like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Scary, devastating, we didn't get it. Devastating? Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. It's so sad. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. <laughs> some fun? Yeah. Yeah, we will. Sorry. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty sad. It's pretty sad. Like, turn of events. I um I remember I went to go visit my girlfriend for like vacation and I got to meet her like her nana her grandma and she has she's got dementia it's pretty sad she asked me uh, like what my name was maybe four or three maybe four or five times um obviously it didn't come off as like a shock to me because I already knew like that she had that so I expected you know to be asked the same questions a few times but it was sad. It was very sad, like like experiencing that firsthand. Uh, she's a she's a wonderful lady. She's a wonderful lady. I wonder where I'm putting these beer cans. Like, am I just shoving them up my butt? <laughs> Gotta be, huh? Here we go. That means I can come down this way. I wasn't I wasn't able to come down this way the first time we saw it, but now I can't because I have all this rope. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare, because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. Just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Grizzlies won't kill a-holes. <laughs> 
What, grizzlies won't kill an a-hole? They don't have a taste for unapologetic pricks? <laughs> nope, that's why we haven't lost a ranger in 11 years. Oh my gosh. So, you don't think anything bad happened to those guys? Yeah, I guess it's possible, but we usually find evidence of stuff like that. For instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shredded pair of ugly cargo shorts. I like these shorts. I like I'm these sure shorts. You do, I like these shorts. Don't make fun of my shorts, Delilah. Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Whoa. I didn't. It's pretty yeah, they cool. Share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Oh wow! Look at this waterfall. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh. There's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. <laughs> it's not even holding on to anything. Around. It's just floating. We got a save point here. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down. Don't let them see you. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Yeah, this is crazy. Uh, that's not good. This is crazy. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird <coughs> what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Dear Psycho, oh, frick, I was going to read it. You're trolling. <laughs> 